Hello, Songbook 101 class. My name is Galen Demas, and I am the nephew of Billy Strayhorn. Billy Strayhorn was a gifted lyricist, arranger, composer, and pianist, as well as being one of the most respected names in jazz for the music that he helped usher in and its impact during his time as the musical writing and arranging partner with Duke Ellington from 1939 until his passing in 1967. Uncle Bill's contribution to this collaboration led to some of the most incredible music being played by the Ellington Orchestra during some of its most influential years in the 1940s, as well as creating numerous timeless classics that are still revered and played by musicians, sung by singers, and enjoyed by audiences worldwide today. Among those songs are two songs whose place in the Great American Songbook are timeless gems, voted as two of the top 100 songs for the 20th century. Take the A Train, a song that not only gave directions for taking the train most suited to get you to Harlem, but also helped to define what was at that time the culture and lifestyle that Harlem represented as the epicenter of African-American success. The second song, Lush Life, displayed an amazing lyrical depth that Strayhorn had from a very young age writing this song with all of its sophistication at the age of 16. While I've given you a few highlights, it's really just the foundation for so much more of a historical legacy that really defines an amazing individual who lived a life that encompassed many different orbits and touched so many people inside as well as outside of his expansive jazz orbit. Born in 1915 in Dayton, Ohio, Billy Strayhorn was so sickly as a child that for the first five years of his life, his birth certificate read, Baby Boy Strayhorn. His mother Lillian never gave up on him and his name, William Thomas Strayhorn, became official around the same time the family settled in Pittsburgh around 1920. Billy was one of six brothers and sisters, four other Strayhorn children did not make it past what were complicated childbirths. His first interest in the piano began with him visiting his grandmother in Hillsboro, North Carolina, and continued with his studies at Westinghouse High School in Pittsburgh. His first love of music and his original musical dream was to be a classical pianist. At his 1934 high school graduation, he performed a classical composition by Norwegian composer Edvard Grieg, Piano Concerto, in A minor. In 1935, one year out of high school, Billy wrote a musical called Fantastic Rhythm that ended up being a big hit, not only for the Westinghouse class of 1935, but it was performed for a few more years in Pennsylvania. The Book of Music includes three songs later to be recorded by the Ellington Orchestra and many others. My Little Brown Book, Something to Live For, and Your Love is Faded. Billy Strayhorn had his own jazz combo a couple of years out of high school called the Bad Hatters, who performed around Pittsburgh, helping to lead up to Strayhorn meeting Duke Ellington in 1938. He became president of a fraternal organization known as the Copacetics, who were show business insiders that included some of the world's best known tap dancers. They were known for putting on some of the most anticipated social and charitable events in 1950s Harlem. Billy Strahan was active in the civil rights movement, traveling and encouraging the efforts of his dear friend, singer and activist Lena Horn, as well as being a friend of Dr. Martin Luther King. Billy Strahan was fluent in French and loved traveling to Paris. He was a generous individual to friends and family, a lasting memory I get to hear from other Strahan family members who knew him, and who have very fond memories of his generosity, especially around holidays, high school graduations, and other special occasions. Billy Strayhorn possessed a very resilient courage too, living his life as an openly gay African-American man at a time when not only was it unacceptable, but potentially physically dangerous in America to do so. But his legacy continues to move ever up and onward through a family-run corporation that oversees his musical catalog, 
Billy Strayhorn Songs, and also the Billy Strayhorn Foundation, which moves forward his legacy through participation in lectures and presentations, music conference networking, and providing jazz education scholarships in his name to jazz music students from middle school to college. The musical legacy of Billy Strayhorn was very wonderfully described by the great band leader Chico Hamilton this way. Strayhorn was a sound and he was a time and he was a movement which anybody around him would embrace. We, the heirs of Billy Strayhorn are honored by his being accepted into this prestigious Hall of Fame. We hope you will continue to listen and learn more about his music and life through our website, billystrayhorn.com and several books out that tell his story. Thank you. It has been a pleasure. I used to visit all the very gay places those come what may places Where one relaxes on the axis of the wheel of life To get the feel of life From jazz and cocktail